Hiya. Uh, here's another $5 game by Sock Pop. And uh, it is the only card game that I like. Let's go in the options and let's clear all my saves. Uh, this way we can start off with a new Cardipedia. Is it? Uh, yes. So, brand new Cardipedia. Although I am kind of cheating and I do have the uh, Wikipedia open here because uh, I don't really want to go back and forth constantly. And let's start a new game. We'll go for a normal length, peaceful off, and we'll start. And this is like one of those tabletop uh, card games where you um, war against one another with a combination of cards. I don't really know how to play those games. I don't really like those kind of games. This really isn't related to those kind of games. It's, it's far more simplified. This is much more like a, a very simplified base building game. But instead of having um, the actual representation of a base, you're being everything's being represented by cards. So this is kind of uh, interesting, in my opinion, here. And you can pause. So we just have a few cards here. Uh, we got wood, we got rocks, and we got bushes, berry bushes. Of course, berry bush is going to feed me. I'll take my visitor, uh, my villager, and put it on the berry bush. But um, we do have some cards that have now been uh, discovered. So the berry bush has been discovered, and uh, uh, the villager has been discovered, and a few other things have been discovered. So we know that we need to discover um, all of these little uh, question marks. Uh, that's sort of part of the fun of the game, game I guess. So let's just... Uh, pick these berries with our little villager. And now we've discovered that card. Okay, we've got two food. Um, the way food has works has changed a little from the, um, the first iteration of the game. Um, basic villagers used to eat two food, and then... Uh, your warrior types would eat um, would require different amounts. Now it seems like all villagers require the same amount. Um, and when you're on the mainland, when you're on this land here, food doesn't go bad, so you can have as big a stack as of this as you want. But you can only have a certain number of cards on the on the uh, table at once. So I'm going to leave uh, my berry bush with the with the last berry in it. Even though I can pick it and then another berry will pop out, I'll just leave it in there for now. Uh, but I want to make a little money, so I'm going to turn this piece of wood into a stick. I already know that it's going to turn into a stick. Oops, I just uh, uh, skipped over a message there, but basically you have, you, you have a, a stick now. And there's the, the quests that are complete. And I can sell the stick. And now I can get more cards with this uh, humble beginning thing. And I can open them up. Now I have an idea. Growth. One berry, one soil. And that will grow a berry bush. And I have a second berry bush here. So I'm just going to stack those two together. And I don't need to keep the idea. I can sell it. And I get a coin back. Um, um, these rocks, if this little number down here is how much you'll sell for. Uh, the rocks and trees sell for nothing. If I mined the rock, I would get stone. Each stone is one gold. Um, it's not as expensive. It's not as much money as is if you get wood and make stick from the wood. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to go straight to making that a stick, instead of letting them mine more uh, wood out of here. Now, I pause after every action because I'm obsessive, and I want to be able to... We've also gained a few things um, by completing those tasks. There's a lot of quests uh, in this game that are very, very small, that open up things progressively, but whatever. 
Uh, these can go down here now. And I will buy another thing of cards. Because these won't go bad. They'll sit forever. This uh, will give us uh, sticks or apples or wood. And the rock will give us stone and stuff. Okay, I'm just going to stack that over here. And now we have a soil so we can grow stuff in it. But I'm not going to grow in it, anything in it right now. I'm going to wait and I'm going to get some more wood. Oh, and it gave me a stick right away, so I'm going to sell it. And it gave me another stick and sell that one too. And, and instead of buying more um, cards, I'm going to now process this tree here. And that was it. So let's go sell these. And we have another stone, another berry bush. So there's three on each, so we've got six. And this one only has one on it, so we have seven bushes. Seven berry bushes. And we need more wood. And we did get more wood. There we go. And more wood. We're reaching the end of the moon. And now we have to feed our villagers. Which is just one guy at this point. And everybody's fed so we don't starve to death. There. So now we have two wood. And I think it's two wood and a stone. And this will create us a house. And we do need a house eventually um, if we're going to make more villagers. So we can get a second villager randomly through one of these piles. And I do believe it's scripted when they give you a second villager. If you have one villager, then like five turns or six turns or something, you will get a second villager. And we need to have a house so they can fucking make a baby. There we go. We have a house. Now, we would, we would eventually have gotten the idea for a house if we kept playing, but I already knew houses existed, so we just sort of um, jumped ahead there. Now, I need some food, just in case um, the round, uh, just in case I get close to the end of the round and I don't have enough food to start up. And that's it. That's the basics of the game there. Um, everything else is just uh, preference. Well, everything before that was preference, too. Uh, me getting the house early, how I sold, and what I um, what I mined before other things, and even how I, you know, organize my board. If you look online, uh, some people set up their boards in pretty uh, wild ways. Okay, now I have an apple. Apples are great because apple trees um, have ex extremely high uh, return on investment. So. Uh, I'm sacrificing two food to grow an apple tree, and an apple tree will uh, pop out like the berry bushes, and I will get uh, three apples in it, but I also have a chance of getting a stick and wood and things like that. But um, you can um, cycle the, your apples very quickly. You can sacrifice one of your apples to plant in storage or in poo or whatever, to get more apples, and you produce more food more quickly that way. So I'm going to go the apple route. You can go the berry route, or you can wait until your um, reap and sow opens up and use carrots. Um, crops are good later in the game when you get greenhouses, because then they just keep producing food. Okay, this is the one where you're probably going to get a, um, a villager out of it. But we're not going to do that yet. And I'm going to sacrifice the flint here to sell it and get more Humble Beginnings. The Humble Beginnings pack will always give you more money than you get into it. See, I just got the house idea, so that would have came up sooner ra rather than later. Now I have three stone. Because I've played the game already, I know that three stone I can combine to make a brick. And each stone... Uh, gives you one uh, gold. Uh, 
So if I combine these three stone together, I will actually get uh, five gold for it instead of three gold for it. So that's, that's a bigger return on investment. I guess this is why this type of game appeals to me, because one of the few things that I have any kind of education on is economics. So it's sort of an, an economic simulator, a very, very small economic simulator. Um, plus we have threats that can come out. There's uh, rats and things like that. So see, we got five, five. Cool. And that's pretty much why I'm not like beating up the stone right away, because it takes a lot more time to get money out of it. I'm also sort of stockpiling berry bushes right now, which is one of the things that I like doing. So here's the, the offspring um, idea is get two villagers, a house, and screw. And the reason that I'm keeping two more food on than I need is just in case the game sort of hits me with a, uh, another villager. Now again, since I play the game, I know that combining two wood and a coin will give me a chest. So I'm going to make a chest so that I, I don't have this um, unsightly clump of cards here. There we go. And I think I'm going to use those four cards to try to get a villager. There, and I got a villager. And it tells me that I can make coin chests now. So with this villager, I'm going to break up these rocks as well. No, I won't. I'm going to go for a second. I'm going to go for a third villager as soon as possible, uh, which might be a mistake because I need a little more food to support the baby, which is going to need um, one point of food. I am going to regret giving away all of those flints at some point. There we go. Now we got a baby. The baby doesn't have to stay in the house, but if it's not in the house, it won't mature. So it'll forever be a baby if I just leave it out here. I haven't thought of a case, test case, where I just want a bunch of babies. Maybe if it's uh, because they have one food, but then you're better off with dogs. And we'll, we'll get to dogs later. But let's just uh, get some more food to support our growing family. Okay, now we have enough for the for the kid. Uh, I'm going to continue on with the rock here, but I want some more wood. Okay, another idea. Uh, okay, that's telling me that I can make a stick. This is not what I wanted. So let's beat up these rocks for now because we need to get to, we need to get cards off the table because we're one over our limit here. And we'll get our villager to get us a an apple next. Okay, another flint stone. Uh, now we will be eating three cards here. So this is not a super problem. Oh, God damn it. Why did you keep... Okay, so we got a stick, wood, and stone. And again, from experience, I know that I can get a shed from that. And the shed will allow us to get more cards. Uh, but normally you'd get that from one of the ideas. And see, it shows us which cards are undiscovered. Uh, okay, the stones are all done. Let's get a brick out of that. We'll need at least two bushes. This bush probably only has one berry in it, but uh, we'll get that in a second. There we go. We got a shed. Now we can have 24 cards on the table. And we still need that apple. Brick, more berries, plant. There we go. And I accidentally made an extra apple. I should have pulled myself off of that, but 
That's fine. I can use that apple to make money in a minute. More berries. God damn it. Okay, so we have a weaponry card here. And that's a... Um, a scripted event, I think. Gave us three extra cards, so we have... An idea for a wand, and this is a new one. So magic dust plus a stick, we don't care. Um, two sticks and a stone give you a slingshot. And different types of weapons will affect different enemies better. Uh, some attack stripes are stronger against others. For example, Mali beats ma uh, magic, so that's, that's good to know. Uh, this berry bush uh, is a foil card. So it's worth five if I sell it right now instead of one. And there will be at least three uh, berries in it, adding up to three gold coins. So I can sell this for more money than I want to because I'm not hard off on food. Foil cards also have a chance to drop uh, one or two extra resources. I'm not sure what the probability chance of that is, but still with the berry bush, um, you would max out at five coins. But if I were to uh, open the resource, uh, I have a chance of getting lower, so it's still a better idea for me to sell the card. Now the Reap and Sow is open, and there is a few things in there we can get. Um, do I want to push food? I think I have enough time to make enough food for Baby and everybody. So let's just make a brick here. Let's sell this brick. And we got enough uh, food for the adults. Let's just get more stuff here. Some of the things we're going to really need... Yeah, let's go for the tree. Some of the things that we really need are more soil spots, because soil is hard to get. We can compost for soil, but that's sort of complicated, and it just means an extra card on the table that we really don't need. Okay, so we've got six berries, so if uh, the kid grows up, we'll have enough for him. And we're going to go for another shed. Okay, we don't need to go for another shed. It doesn't matter. We'll need a stick eventually anyways. And again, copying exactly what I'm doing is, is not really necessary. You can play this game in, in any which way you want. And the way I play is probably not that great. I'm not super... I'm not a super good strat... Uh, strat... I'm not good at strategy. I'm also not good at language. Ooh, we have money. Oh yeah, rocks can give you money. Now again, we're one over our limit, but uh, once the food is eaten, we'll be under the limit. And that was good because we did get over um, the limit because we didn't finish the shed in time. But uh, you kind of want to play a little bit safe. Uh, with these thingies. Now, Humble Beginnings won't give... Oh, it will give us soil. I don't know what the percentage is. Each one of these card stacks has a percentage of what they're going to give you. I think I want to keep going for Humble Beginnings, because we're just trying to uh, build up to something bigger. Plus, it'll give us food. Although, a rabbit would be nice, because a rabbit will, will give us poop. I'm going to keep this flint, because flint is good to have. Okay, so now we can plant this apple tree. Okay, so we got a bunny, and it's going to be obnoxious. It's going to sit there, and it's going to bounce around because we don't have a pen for it. But uh, that's not going to be a huge problem at this point. And what are we going to do now? Let's... Let's mine these rocks. That's a good idea. See, it's now it's hopping around like a bastard. And it'll push it'll push stuff around. Okay, now we have a third villager. And he can do some work for us. And now we got two annoying rabbits. And I don't want this do I want the second rabbit? 
Yeah, I'm going to keep the second rabbit. I'm going to stay at two rabbits. I'm not going to have like a whole harem of rabbits here. But what do I want to do? Let's go. F oh, we don't have enough to sell shit. So let's uh, make a stick. Okay, this key is to open up a chest. And we're just going to... I wish those were two would stack. We're just going to shove it over there for now. Um, so that we can open up the chest. The, the keys are a little more common than chess, but some they're they're both very rare, so sometimes you won't have one, but you'll have the other kind of deal. And we're also going to go for another shed, because we're now at the maximum up here. These two should be pooping out food soon. Let's hope we get some berry bushes out of here. Nope. Um, we will mine this tree, just, just, uh, oops, we will mine this apple tree, just in case. Okay, so we have poop, and I'm going to immediately put the apple on the poop, uh, because we just need, uh, to get our production up a little bit here. We'll mine this apple tree again, or this other apple tree, because we do need surp a little bit of surplus food at this point. Now... Let's go for... We've got one undiscovered card in there. we got a bunch in here. Let's go for Seeking Wisdom. Okay, we got a bunch of ideas from here. We can make a lumber camp with three wood, one stone. That means we can just keep producing wood. That's a good idea to have. And a campfire so we can cook food, but we're not going to really do... Uh, any any cooking, so we can ignore that for now. And we got another uh, another thing of poop over here. And this is going to allow us to really accelerate um, our our food production. Uh, Seeking wisdom uh, does not have the same ROI. Um, Humble Beginnings is the only one that really gives you um, more money than you put into it. Uh, so a quarry, quarry, quarry is unlimited uh, stone. And uh, that's a good idea to have. And the shed, we've been making lots of sheds, so that doesn't, that doesn't really matter. And we will make a quarry in a minute, but it's just resources... We don't have at the moment, and then it's an extra card spot, which we just do not have. That's why we're pushing how many sheds we have um, up as quickly as possible, so that we can just have more cards on the table. And uh, we're starting to slow our sale. We'll go back to Humble Beginnings, because um, I want more wood and uh, trees and stuff. So we've got two of these. We need rock. Let's buy another card. See if we can get some stone. And we got some stone. So that's good. And we'll service the rock here. And uh, that sounds really bad if we're servicing the rock. He may or may not enjoy it. We don't know. He could be secretly nasty. In my mind, every millisecond counts. That's why I'm constantly pausing uh, before pushing forward. Now, you notice it ate the apple before it ate the uh, uh, before it ate the berry. That's annoying, and that happens all the time. And having surplus berries is okay because uh, we can sell the berries in a minute. Not in the same way that we're selling other things, because we can actually combine fruit and um, the berries and the apples together to make a fruit salad or Whatever the hell it's called. And we don't want him. We're going to put him over there because his timer will probably be the lowest at this point. And we'll, we're going to take this apple tree. And I'm guessing we'll just get more cards from this guy. So that he can be doing stuff. Okay, so we're not going to do anything right now. Because we need to keep our villager free for a sec. And we'll take him off of apple tree duty for a sec. 
because we're going to beat the shit out of this rabbit. Now, he doesn't have a lot of hit points, but I wanted to use all the villagers because I didn't want to risk losing any hit points on anyone. And we still have a lot of surplus of cards here. So let's continue uh, with the apple tree and we'll get um, more junk. Okay, now we can compare, uh, we can combine that berry with a uh, apple and we will get a fruit salad. I'll push this over here for now. And I'm going to wait on more family members. We are just going to continue on building up here. There we go. And more stupid berry bushes. Yeah. I think we're at a point here where we can actually make a quarry and not have to worry too much about it. Oops, don't take card off. That resets the timer. Oops, did that? Yeah, that combined. Okay, good. Uh, some stacks have a ma maximum limit. Mm. Wondering if it was going to reach that. So now, well, I forget how to do a... Um, not a wood. We want a idea. Lumber camp. So we need three wood and one stone, and that's what we have here. We have three wood, one stone. We'll do a villager to do the work. And we'll combine those two, because we have enough food on the table for everybody. And these two can probably take care of that rabbit. Oh, I think we got a hurt. Yeah, we got him hurt. And we have a hat. So the uh, rabbit hat gives us uh, more attack speed, but it lowers our health, and I don't like that. Uh, although you, you look like Louise from Bob's Burgers, which is always good. And let's go for... Uh, let's just keep mining food here. There we go. I don't plant berry bushes because... I super don't care. And we opened up another stack. The cuisine stack. And let's work in the lumber camp here. Okay, let's make a quarry now, or prepare to make a quarry. We need uh, stone for that. We don't really have any stone yet. We don't really need money at this point, because we got 37 um, gold right now. Uh, but we really do need stone. Okay, we got stone. What do we need for the stone for the quarry? We need three stone and one wood. Do we have three stone? We do not have three stone. But we got a wood worth five, so we're just going to sell that wood. Oh, we got our first bad guy. Uh, we don't need this either. And we're going to put this over here, and we're going to stop production on these guys. And we're going to go... I want to push this down a bit. And you can use your your live cards to push the bad guys around. Let's get them to follow us. Just because I want it to be sort of in the middle of the screen when we fight them. Because it will push the cards around it away. There we go. We killed them. Now if we cook this, I think we might get more out of it. but. Um, who cares? Let's just sell it. Uh, what's it? Logic and Reason. Now we need Explorer. That's the one that I want, is the Explorers to be opened up. Okay, so... Let's make a bunch of money. 
We need six food. So we're going to go. There is six food. How much food do we got here? Got six food. It's four and two. We two. One, two, three, four. No, we don't have enough. I don't really want them to eat these two apples, but they're going to do it anyway, so we'll just let them do it. Cool. Now we got a bunch of money. Got over 50 coin now. And we'll soon have a quarry. Um, so the armory was opened up. That's what I accidentally skipped. Okay, so, um, I need more soil. And we can get soil from Reaper Sow or Seeking Wisdom, but I'm not sure which one has a higher percentage of giving us what we want. So let's go for... Reap and sow, because that will uh, will also give us food, uh, free food. And I'm just stocking up on cards right now. I won't op open them all at once, but I'm just going to uh, buy as many cards as, as I can. What? Oh, uh, I think because I put some money on it already. Let's just trap. These bunnies over here with some cards. Let them knock them around a bit. And uh, a garden we could make with uh, soil, stone, wood, villager. It's It actually grows a little faster uh, in a garden. So let's make, let's make a garden in a, in a little while. We've got a golden berry here. Let's sell that. And one more bunny. Well, we don't care about the bunny. Ooh, another soil. Perfect. That's what we want. So now we can plant another apple tree. And uh, we don't care about chickens. And we have another tree down here. And we have some food that's just going to feed us for a while here. Let's get some stone. And we will grab these two trees for now. Okay, so we have some wood. We're going to make some sticks. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, let's go for this one stone, one, one soil, two stone, two wood. So, two stone, two wood, and that soil will become available soon. So, we'll just put that off to the side here. And this is good to make another one of these guys. And uh, let's keep him free. Oops. Sometimes you'll see them eating two apples, um, but that's just because there's only one bite left to that apple. And we've got food for the next round, so we don't need to panic there yet. And we're making this idea, so... I don't need to keep it on the table. I was just doing that so I, I remember what I was doing. Okay, we got the two apple trees. And we got two stone, two wood. Make this a garden. And we can have two more, two stone and two wood to make this a garden. Combine these two stacks here. Perfect. We got two gardens. And they will produce uh, more food quicker. Oops, I put that on that one. And we'll open up two apple trees. And then we'll probably go for another villager. Okay, let's go for another villager now. Ooh, strange portal appeared. Uh, that means we're going to have to do battle soon. Let's organize our 
food a little bit. And let's push this away from our cards. Now we're probably going to have a pretty easy battle to start off with. But we need these guys to get off the pot here. Okay, we got a little baby wah wah. Okay, so I think we're fighting a jelly. Yes, we are. So when you kill him, he's going to split into a bunch of other creatures. Is it a stick and a stone, or is it a stick and a flint? Ah, crap. I don't remember what it is for a, a spear, but I guess we're going to have to fight these guy, this guy naked. Bare fist. We seem to be doing okay. Not a lot of misses. That's our only super concerns if we keep missing him. And here we go. Ooh, we got some magic dust. Got two magic dust. We'll keep those for uh, a moment here. And now we'll got we got a bunch of stone saved up. We don't have very many sticks or wood. Ooh, we got a cow. I don't really want to keep the cow, so let's kill the cow. Oh, and I just noticed that we don't have any food. Oh, am I dazed? Yeah, I'm dazed. Okay, so let's get all three working on apple trees. So we can get up a surplus of our food, and we can plant more apples. Um, I think I'm going to go um, one more on the food production. Actually, let's make some berries so that we can uh, make some fruit salad. Because I would also like some cash right now. We're a little low. And we're also slightly overproducing on cards. Uh, if we did, if it did come down to it, I would have sold those ma that the magic powder because we don't super need the magic powder. Okay, so let's get that, and we already have enough to feed us for the next round. So I'm going to get a big expansion here where the kid is born. There we go. That's a nice big expansion. And we will open up the rest of these cards. Don't want you. Stick you down here for now. We'll kill this extra bunny because we don't need him. We are hoping for a bone. Because, oh, well, we got a bone. Speak of the devil. And uh, we'll just open up the last card. Ooh. Oh, we got another uh, soil. And let's go for some wood, and we'll make another uh, garden. Oh, this berry can go down here. And we have a golden apple. Oops, we have a golden apple, which will give us ten. Cool. Ten points. Um, it doesn't translate down. Like, you won't get um, um, a fruit salad that's worth twice as much if you combine a golden apple and a uh, regular berry. I don't even think it works for a, um, uh, if you combine a golden apple with a golden berry, I don't think it gives you, or foil berry with a foil apple, I don't think it gives you anything better. And I will put down the three garden apples first, so that they all uh, spring forth at once. What am I going to do? I am going to... Wait for that baby to be born. Oh, that baby's about to be born. 
It doesn't matter. We have enough. Hopefully the baby's born before the end of the moon. Because I want to get rid of that carrot. And that's not going to happen. It saves us some food, but whatever. Oh, carrot's gone. Good. Okay, come on, get born. Oh, we should uh, grab some food here. There we go. There we go. Now we have another villager. We'll wait for those apples to be harvested. Okay, now that the apples are harvested, let's put our people down here and we'll go to the armory. And this could give us enemies to fight. And it does. It got another blob. Ooh, and we have some iron. So we'll put that aside for now. Uh, a hammer increases our, our combat, but I think it also helps us with something else. With work or something. Okay, now let's let's see if we can break these guys up. Can you escape? You can't escape. Ah, crap. Okay, let's just get all of them. Okay, we don't need three keys, so let's just get rid of that. And is everybody in good spirits? Ten is our lowest. We can deal with a ten. So let's attack again. And this time... Ooh, wolf. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Yay, now we got a doggy. And what is this? This is an iron shield. That's a good idea, but we don't need it right now. So Doggy is going to stay over here because we need... Uh, let's get rid of another one of our rabbits because we already have too much, um, too much stuff here. Oh, what the hell? How did, how did you buff? I've enraged him. So it's, uh, it's attacking me faster, and that didn't help it very much. I would like to get a little more buffer of food here and make a little money on the side. Let's go for some more attacking. Okay, we got a Mimic here. Now, I'm not exactly sure... Magic Tome, so Magic Dust in a map plus a smithy. I don't actually know what that does. I haven't actually had that one before. But I think there's something you can do to the Mimic. Like if I had magic, maybe it turned into an actual chest? I don't know. Let's just attack it for now, because what else are we going to do? Lots of misses there. Uh, we feed the, our guys in the middle of a battle. I think they ate more while they were in a battle, did they? I don't know. Okay, so the dog's not doing much. The dog can um, get us some apples while he's waiting. Okay, we're still okay. Okay, there we go. Now, everybody's still at 14, so let's... Let's, um... Let's get some food first. Okay, so everybody's in good shape. Let's go for some more attacking. We need another wolf and another bone. 
We don't need the brick for right now. So a bone staff. It's a magic staff plus a bone plus a gold bar plus a smithy. Now that must be a super good weapon, uh, which we don't have right now. And we're going after a goblin shaman, and he has a bone staff on him. We might be able to win that staff if we can kill him. And we did win the Bone Staff. And we got the Bone Staff ability. So let's give the Bone Staff to one of our guys. Continue. Okay. Uh, and we got a Madge. Or Magé, or whatever you want to call it. Magi. Okay, let's go to the Explorers. Still looking for a bone. We got a frogman in a tree and a mountain. We'll save the mountain because we can explore that mountain. And we'll just keep the dog will just keep making uh, apples for now. Does he have any weapons on him? No, he doesn't. He's just naked. Although he's a natural, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, guy who shoots. Uh, goop. I don't know what to do with goop. Let's just get rid of it. Okay. Is he... Does he naturally have... Oh, yeah. He naturally has lower health. So that's... That sucks. Uh, I need armor for him at some point. Let's keep going. Oh, we got another wolf. And we don't need another mountain. Now... Do I corral him or do I kill him? I'm going to kill him because I think I think we have a chance to get a bone from him. And then we can feed the wolf bone to the wolf. Uh, so the wolf's attack on the mage is very effective. So I might pull the mage out. Unless we really start losing like we are right now. Oh, we are really getting our asses kicked. Ah, uh, yeah, let's put the mage back in. Oh, he's doing lots of blocking. Oh, this is close. There we go. Ooh, wolf hoods, what does that do? Plus five health. You are going on the mage. There we go, buddy boy. Okay, let's make some more sheds, because we've got some more than enough uh, to make these sheds. And we'll get rid of these trees here and this, uh, this stone. Oh, and another strange portal. Now, I might let some of my guys die, because there is a, an advantage of, of letting uh, two of your people die. You can make a graveyard, and you can get a few things out of a graveyard. So let's get some apples out of here before we face the evil danger. We're going to continue to protect our dog. Okay, we got three rats, and we're not going to fight these rats right away. So we're just going to use our livestock to push the rat out of the way. And I am not going to bother finishing our apple picking before we go after this rat. We're just going to gang up on it. And that was quick. 
separate these two rats out again. Sounds like the apples are done. Okay, we're gonna gang up on them again. Yep, I got more apples. And we'll just finish the last rat off. There we go. Continue on with our apple picking. No, you do the apples. Oh, no, you do the tree. You guys do the apples. And we're in a pretty good, pretty, pretty good place here. We've got a place to explore. This will give us some some cards. We just have to put a guy on there and cards will just continue to spit out. We can also upgrade our guys so that they'll work better on these cards. Like if it's an explorer, he'll work better on the cards. Um, dogs, I think dogs can also become specialized in fields, but we're not, we'll, we'll get him to do apples. Like, just make sure he's doing something as everybody else is doing something. Although we already have quite a few cards on the table here. And the reason that I'm, you know, kind of recapping is because I'm wrapping up. I really like this game. It's, I don't know if it's, uh, it's, it's not like super action packed, but I mean, it's got all the same elements that an RPG would. Like if you were playing, uh, probably not Final Fantasy, but I mean, if you were playing like Final Fantasy up to Final Fantasy VI, it's not too different, except uh, instead of having like your adventurers and using the A button to choose their attacks and things like that, you basically have your playing field and you're doing different things on the playing field. So it's just basically presenting a game in a different genre. So this is sort of a, I feel that it's more RPG ish or base building ish like um, uh, Don't Starve Together sort of thing, but just presented in a different way. I find that very interesting. I find it kind of engaging, and um, hopefully you do too. It's uh, a very uh, inexpensive game. It's like $5. And if you go onto Sock Pop's um, Patreon, you can become a Patreon member every month or so or something. You get a free game. Plus, I think you get a code for a free game if you uh, donate like $5 or something like that. And I did that and I got uh, Stacklands. They have a very wide selection. They're all inexpensive games. They're all interesting. But they're all very, you know, basic games like this. They're presented in a very basic art style. They have uh, very simple game mechanics, very simple play routine. Uh, they can get very complex the larger you get like the more things they're not all card games they're all kinds of different games i like this uh developer i didn't really look into them very much beyond the uh surface level but i find them interesting and i find the games at least this game interesting i didn't really find the other games look too interesting to me but this one looked interesting if you think it's interesting have a play it's five dollars like if you don't have a lot of money you like if you don't have a lot of money, you can still play a lot of really interesting games. Um, as I've said before, I've been ill for the past 10 years. And I'm just starting to get better. And at the beginning of it, when I was starting to get worse, but could play games, I had to play... Um, oh, I'm going to play that game. Ah, I'm not going to give it away, but there's a game that I'm going to play and, and, put on the, and put on the channel that I played when I first started getting sick. And it helped me through at least a couple days. But there are Flash games that you can play that are completely free, that you don't have to pay any money for. They're good for at least a few play sessions. This thing, this game, I think I played 10, 15, 20 hours. And some people play AAA games for that short of length of time. So if you don't have a lot of money, you can still game. You can still get some entertainment out of stuff. Life isn't completely miserable like i'm always talking about how life is miserable and you know who the hell cares but i mean 
there's still interesting things like this that you can fill your days with. I'm filling it and I'm sharing it with you because I'm trying to, you know, gain some skills and occupy my mind and, you know, get a work up until I can uh, work myself up until I can join the, um, uh, join the workforce again. And I'm babbling. So I'll see you later.